Hey everybody, I want to do a video on what I think black women need to need to do. Okay, so let me go ahead and play this clip first. This is the beautiful Sierra. Let me play this clip first, and I think there's something that we need to discuss. Uh, I think tonight everybody should be busy sometime this week, because ladies, we got to have a meeting. Uh huh. Tonight, sometime this week. Everybody, if you haven't already, it's time to have a meeting. So listen to what she has to say in this clip. Be, be patient. <laughs> Everything in life will go exactly how it's supposed to go. At times you will feel like an outcast, that you don't fit in, but you will discover that being your own clique will be your strongest attribute. In life, you're going to face many challenges, many moments of adversity, there are going to be a lot of successes and some failures too. Those moments are going to create your character, build your integrity, and they will become your beauty marks. On your journey in life, you may hear a lot more no's and yeses, but you'll let those moments motivate you. And those that said no will eventually wish they would have said yes. And to every girl listening out there, you will forever be empowered by knowing that no one, absolutely no one can close the door that God has opened for you. Mm -hmm. I think some of you have forgotten this right here. Things some of you have forgotten. See, here's the thing, and I've said it before, and some people you can we can agree to disagree. Dang, my option going negative. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, life is business. Why do you think the way society has it set up when a woman Let's say she's a housewife and she was with a husband and they get, let's say they get a divorce that doesn't work out. He has to uh, pay her. Why do you think that is? Uh, because life is business, it's time, and time is money. Whether she does a good job or not, not up for debate, but how it's set up. If she's a housewife, assuming cooking and cleansing and raising children, life is business. She's going to have more of an influence on those kids than a husband would because guess what? Girl, she's in the home. She's there when he's not. You notice they want to blame black women for everything, but when little Peter Weedy goes and shoots her at the school because the girls that he likes don't like him, they don't think he's cool. Um, I don't see the manosphere. Are they blaming Becky? No, but little Kiki can't get a break. They're not going to blame Becky for that. No, pretty much, you know, I won't discuss it. But we can't negate the fact that she's at home with with the kid. If there's a mom, she's a housewife. She's uh has a great influence because guess what? She is there with that child. Okay, so that's why when uh, marriage dissolves, then there's a thing called alimony and child support because again, life is business. The, the structure. She could have maybe had a career, but she stayed at home. Maybe it was more financially feasible, wanting to protect the kids, which I can understand. And she stayed at home. So she deserves to be compensated, especially if she's a good mom. Okay? Life is business. And I think what needs to happen to a lot of black women, I think everybody, I don't care if you're in the PJs with $2 in your account. That's where you are now, today. You don't know what tomorrow's going to bring, but we have to work at it. So I think black women, what we need to do, and, and, and the same can be for applicable to the men. We need to start looking at things as, guess what, as an individual. I don't want to, I don't care what me, ma did, and, you know, if it's not a success story, what me, ma did, and what mama did, and obviously it probably didn't work out, which is why looking at the culture, we repeat the same mistakes, the same behavioral patterns, and we get the same results. And if you look around, we ain't got it going on because the playbook that they wrote and gave to us, that playbook is all wrong. It's time right now to, I think, start having a business meeting with yourself. I don't want to hear about your man. And especially if he's a baby daddy, he has an honor to woman, giving her an option, uh, try to secure a future. He, he don't mean a hell of beans to me. He can go kick rocks, no shoes, no socks. Okay? I'm not going to respect him. 
I don't want to hear about him. It's all about you. So I think it's time to maybe start having a business meeting. Mm -hmm. And what you need to do, you can have a title for it. Your name Keisha, Keisha's company. Your name Megan, your main your name is Shalonda, Shalonda's company. Mr. Quantus, whatever your name is. And I think we need to do forget what everybody else is doing. Tune out all the noise, even if it's my loud mouth for a moment. Tune out all the noise. Mm -hmm. Tune, tune it out. Get you someplace quiet. If it's your bedroom, if it's your car, if it's in a fast food place. It's time for a business meeting and you need, I think it's best to start to operate as one entity. Forget all the noise. Sit down and write out what you want. You want peace of mind, write it down there. You want some wealth? You don't want to have to worry about money, financial security? Write it down. But only half stars in my pocket and if Pete says, girl, that's you today. We're trying to work on tomorrow. That doesn't define who you are. Write it down what you want. Peace of mind, prosperity, uh, avoiding brokenness. You want um, um, to have some money in your account. I want a nice home, want a nice condo, a better home, a better condo, a better apartment. I want to travel. I've been on a cruise. I want to go on a cruise. Write it down. Then once you write that down, be it on a tablet, on your notepad, your iPad, your uh, spiral, whatever it is, email it to yourself. Once you write that down, think what you need to do. Drown out all the noise and think about you. The people in your life, can they help you get there? Can they? Now, they can help you get there. Woohoo! The ones that can, they're going to hold your back, side for you. Are they going to turn down your dream? Might want to treat them with a long handle spoon. See, what we all need to do, because group think is not working, and I think we're all falling into that, that no matter what we do, we keep making the same mistakes. Oh, it's going to be all right. It's not. It's just not. It's, it's not. So what we need to do is just think about one person, you, and what you need to do. How are you going to get there? Don't tell everybody your plans. They will try to bring them down because sometimes they don't have one. Some people just walking around, child, they ain't nothing but a, a either blessing or curse. They'll curse. They will just turn your dream down. They don't have a dream. Some people are walking nightmare. You have to tell anybody what your dreams are. Write it down. Now, how can you get there? And when you look at that list that you got going on and you meet a man or the man you have, you can look at that list and you can figure out, huh, let's see. Maybe somebody, maybe you in between relationships and you're dating and someone wants to date you. You can go ahead and check out the man right now, kind of get an idea. What are the odds that he can help you get to where you want to get there? And if he's not, if he can't be uh, conducive to helping you get in there, do you really need this dude? What, what, what are the odds? Let's see. Is he a contaminator? Man, if you got some of these dudes that's sitting up here and they done, they, they've got two baby mamas, one is enough. A man got two, run. Child, you don't need them. You don't want them near you. Contaminate them. Because if you deal with a contaminator, you pretty much have an idea what he did to the last chick. What do you think is going to happen to you? That can help you in your dating. Is this person going to uh, help you or hinder you? then guess what he doesn't qualify this is Keisha's company honey we don't do uh, this is Keisha's company this is not the Red Cross and sure as hell is not some kind of um uh we don't do fixer uppers you need to come in with a skill set with this company yeah you're gonna have to come in with a skill set we don't do fixer upper we don't do well what I'm trying what we don't do uh 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 Barbara the Builder you can't read we can't help you baby what I'm trying well learn how to read and then we'll see if you qualify probably will not but no no we're not taking on any projects. No, 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 no. We're not doing charity cases. It's time to start having some meetings ASAP. Write down what you want. It's whatever your name is. My name is Brenda, whatever. Buku Simmons, what the name of the company is. Brenda Buku Simmons today. Write it down. Manifest it. And people have to know what you do. In your company, you don't let everybody know what you got going on, what you're doing. Do you let everybody know what's in your bank account? Do you? 
Well, you got three thousand, thirty thousand, three dollars, thirty dollars. Do you let everybody know your bank account? Of course not. It's not wise. Are you kidding? Are they gonna help you? Write a check, deposit. So no, they're not going to. They are not going to. So life is business. It's time to get started today. We need to start having these meetings, ladies. I do believe we need to start having these meetings like ASAP today. Write down what you want. Some situations go in here. This person, if it's a, a safe environment, okay. If it's not a safe environment, oh, you might want to kind of stand down. It's time to have a business meeting. And then when you memorize that list, what you want, Forget about everybody else. The decisions that you make, is that going to be a good decision or a bad decision? Because, see, we got to make sure how we move is in a line with the list. You feel me? We got to make sure that how we move is aligned with that list, baby. We're not taking on any uh, stragglers. I'm sorry. We don't, we're not taking on uh, uh, any liabilities, assets only. You rock. We gotta rock it the right, the right way. So I think it's time for everyone to have a little business meeting about what you want and what you want to do. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen next week. We can at least plan for it. And in your daily decisions, even letting the man get next to you, what's what, what's the option? What, what's his track record? Does he have a baby mama? If he ran off and left a woman with some kids, and if she got two or three, by a child contaminated by. He may not be a good candidate for your company. You feel me? So I think today would be a good list. A good day to start having those meetings. Uh-huh. Start having those meetings and you remember what you want. And so going forward, when it comes to having friends, male or female, dating, mating, relations, uh, anything, going to an event. You're going to watch the company you keep because you understand we have a list. And to get there, it's going to require certain things. We can't take on no liabilities, can't take on no stragglers. And then that's just it. So I think today will be a good day for black women to go ahead. We're going to get that business started. Life is business, whatever your name is. If your name is LaShawn, LaShawn's company, the, the bank of LaShawn, the company, LaShawn's trust, whatever you want to call it. Write it down. Mm-hmm. Write it down, write it down, write it down. And that needs to be your manual for what is acceptable and what is not. We're not giving no money, man no money. If, if he can't afford to date, we're not doing no 50-50 date thing. He's not worth your time. Uh-uh. Is it business? Well, he sure ain't trying to come press one 50-50. Oh, bye, boy, bye. So yeah, I think it's time for black women. We need to go ahead, tune out all the noise, forget with everybody else. Make your list, and you need to make you make, you need to make decisions based on it. Who you allow in your life? Somebody might have to go. Life is business. You are the CEO. You are the CFO of your company of your life, ladies. You need to act like it. Act right, and I'm out. Love you.